This is the case of a 40-year-old male who for the past four days has had anal pain, worsening with intermittent pyrexia. He has an obvious perianal abscess at the five o'clock position. Incision reveals foul smelling pus and a cavity just below the skin. After incision, I normally would use an artery forceps to open the cavity and use the same artery forceps to guide up to the finger that's placed in the rectum. And one can actually feel the very attenuated mucosa and the defect in the mucosa as the artery forceps comes through. That gives the opening, the internal opening, and now we lay open the track. There you can see in the depths of it, the transverse fibers of the lower end of the internal sphincter. So that is laid open so that we do not have a significant risk of developing a fistula in him. So this is a very simple procedure and then you just clean the base. One can put in a finger to ensure, particularly in the bigger ones, that there are no loculi and that you have completely drained the abscess. And then I put just a gauze wick for, to minimize oozing and I leave it there for 12 hours, after which we remove the gauze.